Snowboarding is a multi-billion dollar industry with global recognition and a world tour where riders' all-around skills are judged and awarded on a one through six star tier level system. Including four different formats, a rider's six best results are recognized, and over a 10-month season, athletes compete in slope style, half pipe, big air, and quarter pipe events for the number one position. Although every four years, half pipe riding is showcased on a mainstream level through the Winter Olympics, snowboarding today consists of video parts, photo shoots, interviews, travel, and the 10-month Swatch TTR World Snowboard Tour. With so many factors involved, the progression of the 2009-2010 season has changed the sport of snowboarding. The progression of snowboarding went a lot into double flips and uh, like in on jumps, uh, double corks are uh, starting to be the thing. Even if you want to make it into the finals, you need to do one and uh, it's the same in half pipe. I'm just gonna mention Travis Rice and you know David Ben like they did a double court. Because you have so much time in the air, you're like spinning twice and just holding the grab. <laughs> yeah, you have to be for sure committed until the end, like not just try to hug one and then we'll see about the other one. You, you gotta just do your thing. You know, I could get that double rotation. It's just happening non-stop all the time, every day. I gotta go back to the beginning almost, you know, learn some totally new stuff. The conditions right now are not the best to learn a new trick. It's icy, it's hard. There's no consequence-free environment for learning these tricks. You just have to be a damn good snowboarder. You can't open up because the moment you open up, you're going to land on your head. Yeah, anyone who's trying to do a trick like that, um, it takes a lot of focus and respect because they're making it look really good. It takes a lot of balls to do one, but... I had to learn that those tricks that I can be the champion again. The double corks really give you a lot of a lot of space of how to do the trick actually. I, I see a lot of variations coming up of double things because well most of them are two flips, uh, uh, well two rotations over your head and one around your waist. For sure, like the way right now to snowboard is like, like it's progressing a lot right now. So it's like everybody trying double corks in the pipes, in the in the slope style course too. Today, uh, when you see what we're building, um, there is no limit to progression. You know, the progression is literally within the resources that are made available to us, and the safety nets that we put out there. You know, and then all we have to do is like drop in and try it out. With the aid of his major sponsor, Red Bull, Sean White's trick visualization was now possible without any major consequences. Brands are beginning, uh, companies, independent companies, even people, private investment, are throwing uh, resources at uh, structures and making them safe. Today you'd land in a, um, an airbag or a pillar or a cushion or um, a perfectly transformed transition that you would never normally get to use, especially in a contest situation, so training becomes safe and progression just evolves.